Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sam from Lab Production Tips and Tools. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use your DSLR camera to live stream on Facebook Live. So basically there's two ways to do this, okay? You can do it using a webcam or any camera that has a USB that the computer could see as a webcam. Or the other way, which is uh, even better and more advanced, and that's the way I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. In my case, it's a mirrorless camera, but the same concept applies to any DSLR camera. And it's gonna be my Lumix GH5. So step number one, of course, you're gonna need a camera. And step number two, you're gonna need a microphone. So I recommend using something like a shotgun microphone that will be connected to your camera so that the audio and the image will be combined together when you send them to your computer. However, if you don't have that, you can always try using uh, a USB microphone. It's another option. Just beware that you may have some delay issues. So if that happens, I recommend uh, you download this software called Voice Mirror Banana, and this will help you actually uh, solve this delay issue or latency issue between your lips or the image and your audio. However, if you have a microphone connected to your camera, then you should not worry, okay? So the next thing you're gonna need, obviously you're gonna need a capture card, okay? Which is uh, something like this. It's one end USB, the other end will be HDMI. That's what you're gonna use to plug an HDMI cable from your camera. You send it to the capture card and the capture card will convert the HDMI into USB and your computer is going to see your camera as a webcam, okay? So after connecting everything together, so basically you're gonna connect your HDMI, HDMI goes to capture card, capture card connects to the computer. So you also need to make sure that your camera has a clean HDMI out. So depending on the camera that you are using, go to HDMI out and make sure the info display option is off, okay? So it's the info display option that you have to turn off uh, on any camera that has a clean HDMI, you should have that option. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything. So now that everything is connected, the last step is go to your Facebook page, of course, where you want to live stream, okay? And under create uh, post, you're gonna go to live, okay? So let's click to live. Then as you can see, we have two options here, create live video event or go live. So we're gonna select this go live option. And as you can see, we have three options here to live stream, okay? We have use your camera, use a stream key and use a paired encoder, okay? In our case, we're gonna be using a camera. So basically, you're gonna get a talking head video, you know, something just your shot. So basically, you're gonna go here down here and choose the capture card, which is gonna be USB video. As you can see, we have my image right now, okay? And the next thing is to go to your microphone settings or input and choose the microphone that you want to use. Again, I strongly recommend you use the microphone connected to your camera just to avoid some mismatch issues, you know, or latency issues between your lips and the sound of the microphone, okay? So basically, we're gonna go ahead and choose digital audio interface USB, which is the audio coming from the camera through the capture card, okay? So once you're done, all you have to do is go next. Okay, click next and create a title for your stream. Okay, so we're just gonna call it test, test description, and then go next. Okay, and as you can see, you have an option here. You have some other options here that I would recommend you go through, especially the distribution settings. And this is where if you want to share this stream, let's say in some Facebook groups and you know, some other pages, then this is where you're gonna go, okay? But for now, we don't need to do this for the sake of this video. 
okay the next thing as you can see the next part is just to go live okay so once everything is done all you need to do is just click go live and as you can see i'm live right now on my page okay once you're done all you have to do is end your live video and boom here we go so you have an option to delete the video but if you wanted you have an option to view your post stream your video or create a clip from your video okay so for now i'm just gonna delete it the second way of doing this is gonna be by using an encoding software something like obs okay which if you don't know how to use it uh i'll put some links down below for you guys to kind of you know get familiar with it but if you don't know i'm just gonna go uh open it just show you a little quick how you would do it okay so this is obs so basically it's a free software you don't need to pay anything it takes a little bit of time to learn it to just to know the basics how it works but again as i said i put a link down below for you guys to know how it works okay and basically as you can see once you have it downloaded uh it looks like this i have some stuff of course that i created before okay but all you need to do is basically i'm gonna show you how you can add your camera same camera that is connected to your computer using a capture card same concept so once you have obs opened all you need to do is go here under scenes so basically scenes are like your composition composition of different sources cameras audio sound graphics anything that you may have that you combine together to create a scene okay and basically let's call it testing test okay then after you add the scene you need to go and add different sources to that scene so you hit the plus sign and what we need to do is to add a video capture device okay which will be our camera okay so i'm just gonna call, call it uh camera one or just camera okay so what we need to do is we go to device okay and as you can see i have different inputs but ours is gonna be usb video okay then as soon as i click usb video as you can see uh my image appears okay and all i have to do is actually go down here so for the uh, resolution uh you can go ahead actually um use custom and you have different resolution but you want to use the highest which is 1080 okay fps basically it's like your frame rate uh you can use you can match whatever is coming from the camera okay so the last thing make sure you go down here and select use custom audio device okay which will be the microphone of your choice and as you can see you have options for audio uh, devices all i need to do is select my usb microphone which is line uh, m audio producer if i wanted to use the, the microphone connected to my camera i would actually go with the digital audio interface uh, usb digital audio that would be the microphone on the camera okay but for now i'm gonna use the usb microphone and click ok so as you can see uh you can see the levels my microphone as i talk uh through the microphone check one two so you can see the levels here okay and all i have to do is send the image by cutting or fading to the program okay so the last step is actually to be able to send your image or whatever you have in obs send it to facebook live and basically what you're gonna do is you go back to facebook live and go under live and then select live okay and this time we're gonna use the second option which is use stream key okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh under um stream key here and we are going to copy this key and this is where we're gonna go uh back to obs and go to settings okay go to stream and choose facebook live uh here on service and go to stream key 
basically what you do is you remove whatever is there and paste the key that we just got from facebook and hit apply and once you're done you click ok the last thing you need to do is you click start streaming okay and as you can see if i go back to facebook right now uh is receiving the image from obs okay so once you have this uh, image appearing here from obs what you have to do is you know click next and go through all the steps that we just did add the title your description and whenever you're ready you just go live okay so basically you can go back to obs uh, add more stuff you can add some effects you can add some logos uh, as you can see you have options to you know let's say if you want to share something uh, on your screen so you can capture your screen uh, you can add an image or your logo you can add some text title so like uh, i encourage you to just if you're new to obs just go ahead and learn. I have a lot of videos about OBS and YouTube is full of them. So make sure you kind of educate yourself depending on what you want to achieve. But with OBS, you have a lot more options than just going straight to Facebook Live uh, without passing through OBS, okay? But again, it will depend on your needs. So you may not need OBS. Once you're done, all you have to do is uh, go to Facebook and your stream, uh, you know, the way we did it earlier and uh, do the same thing here. Stop streaming and your stream is going to end, okay? And that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, other than that, make sure you check out some other videos that I did on OBS and live streaming cameras and reach out to me if you have any question or you need help with anything. Other than that, I appreciate you hanging out with me and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.